Hello, I'm Deb Johnston. Hi, my name is Dan Britt. My name is Terry Hagee. My name is Lisa Marie Winslow. I am the current campus president for Kaiser University Jacksonville. Diane Johnson was a friend, a faculty member, and a significant player for my campus as well as this community. I was friends with Diane for almost 20 years. I worked with her directly for the last five years. I was the assistant director of nursing under Diane. Diane was our university department chair. And it was really during the first couple of weeks uh, here during the program that I had my first interaction with Director Johnson. I worked with Ms. Johnson for about seven years before she passed um, this time last year. And when I think of Diane, I think of uh, two words that I could describe her with, and that is passionate and inspiring. Um, she had tremendous impact um, on me personally. She had a tremendous impact on our students, the faculty in which she came in contact with, and quite frankly, anybody else. She was always very good to me and always very kind. Uh, I was a little bit older and a little bit more life experience, a different life experience than most of the students. And so it was really terrific to just be able to relate to her. Diane was just an incredible person. Um, very dynamic. You always knew when she was in the room. Diane was passionate about very many things. She let everyone know. First, I think she was most passionate about her husband, Dave, um, who she shared wonderful stories of, and we had the pleasure of meeting him on campus. Um, and seeing him here, supporting her in her role here as the nursing program director. Diane had a very big personality, uh, a very strong presence in, in addition to that personality, and you knew Diane was in the room and around. She was passionate about her Florida Gators, and she was mostly passionate about nursing. She drove the students so hard because they had to be good nurses, and they had to be competent because in a lot of in a lot of ways uh, those patients are counting on you and for some of them it is the care that you provide uh, is life-saving to them her her love was and her passion was for um, the profession of nursing and and our students and making them better and by making our program better not only here at the Jacksonville campus, but for the university. She was just an innovator when it comes to nursing classes, collecting nursing data, uh, something we're doing right now for our accreditation. She had already started some of the uh, things towards our uh, accreditation that's coming up this year. When I was a student, that there were a few times during uh, my rotations that there were some very difficult scenes either to see or to you know be privy to or what have you and I knew uh, that Diane I remember once uh, actually her and I hugging it out in the hallway because I was so devastated over um, you know kind of what was going on in that particular rotation. She spent many of her hours um, on campus and off campus um, revising and developing curriculum and working with her colleagues and program directors across the university system to ensure that the education that our students um, were receiving was exactly what the community needed in serving our community members um, and that our students were prepared to to then take their education to the next level. Uh, Diane uh, became an integral part of, of not only my life, but also my wife Kathleen. Kathleen worked with us here in Jacksonville for a couple of years, and then she took the program director's job in Daytona when they opened a nursing campus down there. And uh, Diane worked closely closely with both of us, uh, me here in Jacksonville and, and Kathy in Daytona. And um, we lived very close to each other, so we used to do um, have a little work session sometimes outside of when we were actually on the campuses. Did so much, had such a wide touch. I don't think that there is, uh, from a program within the university, from the profession, 
here at Kaiser University that Diane's fingerprints aren't all over. She, she dedicated her life to the nursing profession and then in her later years to educating our students. I knew Diane's husband also, uh, was a, a very good friend of mine. Unfortunately, he passed. I felt really honored that I, she, I was actually the first person that she called uh, when her husband passed away, other than her neighbors, uh, uh, Professor, the two Professor Haggies. And it was really pretty amazing. Uh, it was really that, I, that she thought that much of kind of our interaction that she would call me about her husband passing away. She always spoke about integrity of the program and in the integrity of nursing and ensuring that our students had not only the, um, the, the education and the clinical skills to perform, but also the soft skills and the professionalism, and most importantly, the bedside manner, um, so that they could take care of patients in both clinicals and then as future graduates. Making our students better and making the profession better, and that, uh, was, was her love, was her passion, and, and what fueled everything, what fueled her, her drill sergeant um, approach to curriculum, her drill sergeant approach to managing the classroom and the students and expectations. I was determined that, hey, I'd spent, I'd spent so much time here and dedicated so much time to study and everything else that I really wanted to be a first time go when I took my, uh, my NCLEX. So, uh, I. I was very fortunate and I did pass my first time through and uh, Director Johnson was actually, uh, other than my wife, was the next person that I called to tell uh, that I had passed. She had always asked me when I was going to start a family and I had always told her, never. <laughs> and she was the first person that I was able to share with um, from a faculty member perspective that I was going to be having my first child. and. She gave me the most important piece of advice that I could take away at that time, and that was to um, honor my family and to always put my family first. She was just named to the uh, Florida State Board of Nursing and had just started um, attending their meetings and, and having her voice uh, heard with them too and like I say she was just a dynamic innovator uh, I, I I wish I could have seen what uh, what would have transpired over the years with her being on the board of nursing when she passed away it was it was it was particularly devastating she was she was a really really amazing mentor to me and uh, and truth be told, it really took the wind out of my sail. I am really, um, I'm, I'm humbled, I'm um, touched. I'm glad that we as a university are recognizing Diane in this way and in a memoriam to her that forever represents the, the past, present, and the future of our nursing program. We miss Diane very, very much. Uh, I, I miss her terribly, and uh, yeah. Make sure that her memory serves on here in the Jacksonville community, in the nursing profession, and in Kaiser University.